Ethiopia uh, has uh, different basins and these uh, different basins have uh, uh, a transboundary nature. Uh, they cross uh, national boundary of Ethiopia. Uh, water, uh, especially water cooperation, is at the center of uh, development of my country uh, and I want to contribute to the development of Ethiopia. It is not uh, scarcity only that we have as a problem, rather we have a problem of professionals. So if I specialize in this field, um, in water conflict and uh, management, uh, I can uh, contribute uh, to the development of my country on one side and uh, uh, transmit the knowledge I gain from here to uh, young professionals in the university through research, uh, teaching and community service. Okay, my country Nigeria, I believe, uh, will benefit from this program which I'm studying when I'm done. I hopefully will go back and uh, help improve in the relationships between Nigeria and neighboring countries. We, what we do basically every, every time is sit down, deliberate, discuss and talk about issues. By, by staying with these 81 countries, I've, I've been able to learn about their cultures, learn about what is uh, the problems, what are their concerns and what makes you know, their, their country tick. So if we're able to sit down and discuss and uh, think about how to solve these problems, I believe it will be a good thing. Yeah, it's true. It's the concepts and the uh, engineering stuff we can get here, the material will really help me at the end to make some more uh, cooperative uh, collaborations on the different projects between the neighboring countries that will help to uh, what's that, uh, to achieve the global uh, goals and to, to, to help the peoples in that region. If we talk about hydroinformatic role in the future times, it would be very interesting because the main concept is we, we try to quantify the water and from that we, we have an engineering uh, approximation to share the water. It means that we, if we talk about the sharing of the water, if we talk about the conflict, and all of this can be solved if we apply the approach of hydroinformatic in quantify the water. Um, since I was in high school, I was getting more and more information and knowledge about all the environmental problems. And I thought that something needs to be done and that I could contribute to, to do something. I believe that you can be the change you want to see in the world, as Dalai Lama once said. My Master in Environmental Science and Technology will allow me to have an overview of the alternatives available uh, for different problems in the water bodies, as well as problems uh, involving stakeholders with different interests in the ecosystem service. Having this holistic view is essential for promoting a water co cooperation um, that aim attending the demand of water and energy uh, with responsibility and good management in order to preserve the ecosystem and assure good quality and quantity of water for the future. Regarding my country and the location of Iran, uh, well, uh, we are dealing with water from the, from the north, uh, there is the Caspian Sea, and uh, in the south we have Persian Gulf, that uh, definitely uh, we have some uh, coastal areas, we have some uh, ports, and in the south especially. That's very strategic uh, countries, maybe in the Middle East, uh, so that's another reason that Maybe someday I will apply my knowledge to, to my country and uh, to cooperation with other countries and neighbors. Uh, hydroinformatics, exactly, uh, it deals with uh, kind of models and uh, it gives the decisions about the decision makers uh, uh, something called decision support systems, which can give them uh, uh, different scenarios and different. Uh, different situations and gives them an advice what to do in, in that case. And Sudan is a very delicate, uh, uh, it has a very delicate situation because it's in the 
Nile basin and the Nile basin. So we have to manage all the basin with each other, all the countries, and that's our uh, that's where hydroinformatics come because we give the advice or the decision support system to give them the the decisions or you know yeah, they give them what the, uh, what what could happen and what uh, what to deal. With. Well, this education will be something valuable for me because. As far as, as I am aware, uh, the situation in Turkey is not so well like in Netherlands. So I will try to make the best of this education to provide, to help my country to cope with the floods in the most efficient and sustainable way. I go back home, I will work in water and sanitation related projects which will uh, benefit my uh, community, of course. And uh, we are also having a partnership with various organizations, uh, for example, in India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. Uh, and we can jointly uh, uh, have a projects which will benefit our neighboring countries uh, and including my own community people. I believe that in, every, in each one of us, we have our own experiences unique from each and every one of us. Precisely, we should not be accepted here in UNESCO IHE if we don't have that proper credentials. So in, even in our own small ways, with our little talks, like waiting in queue, waiting for the tea, the tea breaks and the lunch break, even in small talks in the corridor, we can share our own experiences. And I also believe that in, an, in our own small ways, we can help each other. In the future, these students in IHE will become the future leaders of their nation. And they are friends here in IHE. I know that will be, they will be, with their bonding, with our bonding here in IHE, we will also be friends in the future. So, as sub-chair, in every activities that I do, I want to make sure that every country is represented, especially in the World Water Day activities. What I really wanted to do is for the MNC participants to please participate and cooperate. Thank you.